Hey guys, what's up? So I'm starting the vlog, how I ended the last vlog. I literally look exactly the same. Like I wanna make sure my vlogs go up every single Friday. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Arika. I do some beauty, fashion, and fitness videos here on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also make sure to click on that little bell because I think that is how you get notifications on your phone. Whenever I upload a video, I do giveaways every single, almost every single Friday. I have been doing it every single week. So hopefully I can keep up with it. So today we are heading to my friend's house. I'm actually just dropping off some makeup my friend that I grew up with literally from college we used to work at BB together her daughter she has a daughter really likes makeup and like putting like eyeshadows and glitters on her eyes so I am bringing some makeup for her so I'm gonna drop that off and then come back and work on my blog and still do like some work and I have to plan my photo shoot for this weekend I'm shooting some pretty little thing and Becky G clothes so I'm gonna be planning that and luckily I got the highlights in my hair so my hair is ready to go so follow me around this week for all the things that I'm gonna be doing okay hi guys what's up so I actually just got home from the hair salon again I actually just got my hair like shadowed a little bit extra because you guys know I got this money piece style hair and I haven't highlighted my hair for a long time and it's grown so much naturally and I just got a new hair superfood vitamin oh my gosh I have this band-aid because I got a new blender and because I'm taking supplements and stuff like that I like to make smoothies to have together with it I don't know because I feel like you definitely shouldn't have any supplements on an empty stomach because then you want to like have like food with it so I like to have smoothies but this is the new one that I just got it is the Saint Tropica true bloom hair growth of vitamins and I'm doing a 60 day hair challenge I'm going to take it's actually only one capsule which I love and I'm gonna have it with water I already had a smoothie earlier so I'm gonna take one hair supplement by St. Tropica right now and I think this is a great deal because you get money back guarantee if it does not grow I hope you guys try it with me because you get your money back hundred percent if you don't like your results so let's measure my hair length right now all right guys so I'm gonna just take a tape measure and I'm gonna measure it in inches. I'm actually gonna start, my hair is in the middle. So I'm gonna start from the middle. The longest length. Oh, it's pretty long, you guys. The longest length of my hair is right here. And I'm gonna tell you guys, oh, 27 inches. Okay, you guys, my hair used to be super short. I'm gonna post pictures of what my hair used to look like before with all of my extensions and tracks and tapes and everything showing. It was crazy. My hair has grown and it's gonna grow even more and in actually two months, basically in 60 days, by the time it's my birthday in May, I'm highlighting all of my hair anyway. So I want my hair to be super strong and super long because I know as you bleach a lot, it does break off. So right now it's 27 inches, you guys. I'm gonna do a proof photo and we'll see where it's gonna take us. I'm so excited to record this hair journey and for you guys to watch my hair grow. I hope you guys do it too. All right, let's get started on the hair growth journey. 60 days, here we come. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's actually Saturday afternoon and I'm actually heading to the sauna. I'm actually gonna take all of this makeup off. I did a quick little glam because I had a little Zoom meeting and I wanted to do a little glam, but I'm taking all of it off because I'm going in the sauna. And then I'm also getting a spray tan tonight for a photo shoot tomorrow. I have two types of photos I have to take. One is a clothing collab and one is a fresh digital for a modeling job. And it's so crazy because for all the times and all the years I've ever really modeled, 
I never had to take a fresh digital. So this is my very first time taking it and I'm kind of nervous, but also excited. So it's like a photo on like a plain background, natural in a swimsuit, not edited and just like you, like raw form of you. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. So today I'm gonna go to the sauna right now, I'll take off this makeup because in the sauna you really can't wear makeup because you sweat a lot. So I'm heading there right now and I'll see you guys at the sauna. This is how it looks. That's the sauna. And I'm going in there. The benefits are amazing. And these are like the lights, the light colors and what they do for you. And then that light right there, that light right there is what changes colors and I'm taking off all my clothes and going in there. So sweaty, <laughs> sweaty fam, super sweaty. And I put on a little workout outfit because now I'm doing cryotherapy for three minutes. I'm going in a negative 120 degree ice room. Hey guys, good morning. Actually I came here at 11, now it's like noon, but I am wearing this really light makeup actually because I am shooting Fresh Digitals, that's what it's called, for a modeling agency for a gig that I'm doing March 18th and 19th. I'm shooting at The Artist Project. This is where I was shooting a couple weeks ago, you guys saw, and that's where I brought the makeup, and I brought more makeup today. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm wearing a swimsuit. You guys will see the Fresh Digitals, I'll put it up right here, but this is like the first time I'm actually wearing like super light makeup for this shoot. So it's very different from my usual photo shoot. You guys, so I added extra glam and I changed to this pretty little thing, Becky G outfit. I'm shooting the content for this for my Instagram and for Pretty Little Thing. It is actually a paid partnership. So we're doing a little collab photo shoot here. I did some film, I did some digital, I did some looks with like a little um, like light, flare, I don't know what it's called, optical illusion or something like that, whatever it's called. And then I did some Polaroids too. I'm gonna show you guys actually my Polaroids. My Polaroid from this outfit right now. And this is my Polaroid for the swimsuit earlier with the digitals, or for the digitals, the model ones. So that's it actually. <laughs> Good morning. I just got done with yoga. I know I look a little bit tired. Um, I'm actually at Gold One Hour Photo in Koreatown, and I'm gonna develop two rolls of film. Sorry, I'm wearing the mask because I was wearing this at yoga, and I had to put it back on for waiting in line. But there's a huge line, and if you guys didn't notice, some of my photos that I put on Instagram are from real film. So it's super cool, you have to develop it. They send these files, TIF files to you, and then um, you can put it up. Like it's like digital after, but it's actually on film and it's super cool. So I'm gonna wait in line and develop my film. Hey guys, what's up? So I have a few things I wanna share with you guys tonight. First of all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys liking and following and commenting and interacting with my sponsored content, whether it's here or on YouTube or any of my other social media platforms. I'm actually trying to get into a TikTok creator. I just really started posting on TikTok and I'm at 8,000 followers on TikTok. So if you guys can follow me on TikTok, I need to get to 10,000 in order for me to become a TikTok creator, I guess. So I do appreciate all of your guys' support on all of my sponsored content because that is what supports me and that's how I'm able to continue creating content and also doing the giveaways for you guys. And so I really, really, really appreciate when you guys do that. Thank you guys so much. Tonight I'm drinking watermelon juice 
right here. And if you guys didn't know, watermelon juice has a ton of electrolytes which is so important to me you guys know i drink liquid iv now i drink watermelon juice as well i drink essential water and i lack electrolytes like that's been a thing and a problem for me my health is good now finally it's great actually but it was kind of like rocky for a while and it was because the over exercising doing too much of everything not eating enough of like certain things so i'm treating myself with this watermelon juice it is so good i used to be so afraid of sugar and stuff before and i'm also drinking smoothies with lots of fruit and i'm adding the teamy blends it's actually from a sponsored video but i really love the teamy green it's a green powder with like spirulina matcha and like celery powder and a bunch of greens like kale powder spinach like a bunch of stuff in there and it's actually really good and it makes the smoothie a green smoothie so it has a lot of greens in it so i drink that in the morning so i've just been doing a lot of that and yeah oh the news i wanted to tell you guys oh my gosh i went so off track because i was talking about like healthy stuff but always 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 treat your body right and appreciate your body i really learned to appreciate my body through yoga and through really going through this like health journey i feel like i've always been like healthy but i almost got like too into it which is what made me sick last year twice so that's why like i'm just like consuming sugars and just like doing like treating myself too like i can't just be like oh my gosh i can't have salt i can't have sugar like i have salt all the time now because that is what i was actually lacking so it's just so crazy like my doctor i went to a couple doctors and got several tests did blood tests and stuff like that so now we're good and now i know what to eat and what to drink and like i have to continue doing that but yeah I think next week I will do a what I eat in a week video preparing for a photo shoot. So what I was going to tell you guys tonight is that I booked the job. The job that I had to take the digitals for. I got an email and they were like, okay, you're... Well, I got an email from my management team that's talking to the modeling agency that needed the photos. And then the agency told me that they approved my photos so basically i had submitted these photos you guys saw earlier in the vlog of like just me in a swimsuit i was super nervous when i submitted the photos because they're not edited like they're just like me like from the camera and the thing is like a lot of like photos and stuff like nowadays are like light and bright and color changed edited like full glam like hair team everything and like i didn't do any of that because they didn't want that like i didn't even i literally brushed my hair and like went there and also it was just like my hair from like three days before that you know and then i just went took the photos my friend took them so you know i'm like comfortable with my friend um and then i emailed them over because they were like we need it right away so i emailed like basically just me in a swimsuit and I didn't like over arch my back or like stick out my butt or anything like that I literally just took the photo and I was just like really nervous I've been modeling for over a decade like I've literally been modeling I've been in the entertainment industry for way over a decade and I've been modeling for yeah like 11 12 years probably more yeah like 13 like a long time so a long time and I've never taken digitals because i'm like me i don't know like i'm not really a model with a modeling agency that's like runway tall like all of that you know what i mean like i've done stuff like that i've walked runway shows actually like quite a few and as more of like an influencer fashion blogger guest more so like or like model that's like shorter than everyone because most of them are like super tall but I've done a lot and I'm so grateful for those opportunities, but like I've never taken digitals where I was like sending it to an agency and all of that. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't really look like those girls. Like that's what I thought. You know, comparing is 
so bad like comparing pretty much just like takes away like your uniqueness like it's not okay so if you guys out there are thinking about modeling and don't feel like you are good enough or whatever don't like stop right now like don't be like that because everybody is looking for uniqueness and everybody is looking and you're gonna be the right fit for someone's like look so i totally encourage you guys to like try modeling if you want to be a model like go for it like don't even like think about doubting yourself or anything like that because seriously like everyone has an opportunity to be a model and i definitely feel like you should try it i never even say that i'm a model i feel like that's like I don't know it's not really like my job description i never say like oh yeah i'm a model i've had a lot of modeling experience and opportunities because of my friendships you know a lot of it is like relationships and friendships and i got a lot of jobs from that um but yeah anyway so i turned those photos in got the job so i am traveling for the first time since the pandemic like, i haven't traveled since last year 2020 january like on a plane like i i have not i actually haven't traveled anywhere really so i'm finally traveling for work for this modeling job that is happening in two weeks and yeah so i got the gig it was like i was so nervous you guys like i don't really like even though like i show you guys or like i do a lot of like bikini try on hauls or like different like i've modeled for like honey burdette um i did the skims shoot like I don't actually really love my body or appreciate it. For so many years, I never really liked the way that my body looked. I'd always be like, oh, like there's something wrong with this, there's something wrong with that. Like I feel like, you know, like I just never felt like I was good enough, which is probably why like I go to extreme levels to like work out so much. Almost started crying right now, but anyways, yeah, I just never really liked like I never really was like yes like oh my god I'm everything like a lot of times I'm like like really trying to like make my body look like someone else which is like so insane like you shouldn't have to feel like that you know what I mean like they hire you because they like you whether you have an extra little curve or not like they like you so I'm just like super happy about this opportunity that I just got because it kind of just gave me that extra confidence again which I should just have within myself anyways but I was like oh my gosh they like my photos you know like it's not edited it's not full glam it's not like all of my like Instagram photos where I'm like you know kind of like really trying to be perfect so I'm really happy about that so yeah if you guys want to try modeling go for it if you guys want to try anything else being a beauty guru being a youtuber being a dancer being anything just go for it like go for it like full 1000 percent. just go for it because this may be like your moment like you never know and even if you get rejected like from certain things or whatever just keep doing it keep posting on social media like you will have those opportunities that are perfect for you that are going to come come to you because even after 12 years of doing this i'm getting jobs that i feel like maybe i would have wanted back then but then i'm getting them now and then i'm taking pictures to prepare for it now and it's like crazy because i've been in this industry for a really long time i mean not compared to like you know what I mean, Angelina Jolie or something. I mean, she's an actress, but like, you know, for a long, she's like been in it for a long time. But like, for me, I feel like I've been, you know, in this for a while now and I'm still learning. I'm still getting opportunities and I'm so grateful and I'm so happy for everything that has ever come my way. I definitely want to do more to inspire others and teach others how they can do their thing their way. I think that that's super important because nobody needs to do it like the same way as the person next to you or the person you know whatever like and no one needs to be compared I feel like that's just like so whack like don't compare yourself to others don't compare other people to others because it's just not it erases the uniqueness of 
the people, you know? So anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys today because, you know, it really is rough out there if you really like blame yourself or talk bad to yourself. Like you can't be doing that. You gotta like face everything head on, just go out there and do it. I love you guys so much. I wanted to like have this little chit chat with you guys because you know, I wanna connect. I wanna tell you guys how I feel about everything going on and then everything just, I wanna share. So that's what's going on with me. I got the job, you guys, crazy. Like I can't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, really? Like I kind of was like, even though they reached out to me to be their model, they asked for the digital and then there was a chance if I sent the digital that they would say no. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we're, we decided to go another direction. That's like a nicer way to say like, no. But um, they could have said no. So I'm just like happy about that. But also just remember, it doesn't matter if you get denied, rejected. There were so many moments in my life where I got denied, rejected. My first love was to be a host, a television host for an entertainment channel. You guys know I graduated from USC with my master's in journalism in 2012. And I wanted to be a television host and a journalist. I did do some red carpet interviews and hosted a few segments on different platforms. And it was so amazing, but that was like my first love. And there were many moments where I auditioned that I didn't get the job, like didn't get the job, didn't get the job, didn't get the job, didn't get the job, like so many times, you know? And then I started making YouTube videos on the side, was modeling, did lots of music videos, did lots of like different trade shows, like motocross stuff, like supercross, mo yeah, motocross shows, um, car shows, different things. Went to Vegas a lot, um, hosted not, like clubs, like like club appearances like they hire models to like appear at clubs and you go on the flyer like <laughs> i did stuff like that a bunch of stuff promo modeling a ring girl a promo modeling where you're like basically like an advertisement for like like an alcohol brand or something like that a ring girl where you like hold the little numbers ring card for fights like where they have like professional fights and i mean i did a lot of everything like so many jobs and you know it led me to here and it led me to do this you know and do right right on my blog still i still write um it led me to be able to share things on instagram to share things online to create videos to create different things so i appreciate where my life has taken me and i'm so excited for the future as well so yeah i feel like that little job opportunity kind of like gave me a chance to like open up and share with you guys how i'm truly feeling i love you guys so much i really 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 appreciate you guys following me and if you guys have been following me for a long time thank you so much really from the bottom of my heart because i know you guys are like growing up and you guys are probably going through different phases in your life as well and i appreciate you guys following me i'm always down to chat also through dm or in the comments below i'm always answering thank you guys so much i do need to announce the giveaway winner for last week's vlog on my glam life three and i am numbering the vlogs for 2021 again i don't know why i just started one two three if you guys have a name for my glam life vlog series i know that's what it's called glam life vlog i feel like people like glam life because that's like my life um but if you guys have any like suggestions for like names or like series name or something like that these are gonna be like my vlogs forever so I think Glam Life Vlog is cool, but if there's like another clever name or like a thing that you guys think I should do, like an idea, let me know. I love taking your guys' suggestions. So the winner of last week's giveaway that I'm announcing in this week, this week's vlog is Destiny Giles. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, her comment is so cute. I've loved your videos for so long, Erika. I love, love whenever you post a glam vlog and would love to see more workouts or spend a day with me type vlogs. You always inspire me to be more positive and love life. That comment was so cute. And I went on her page and 
she had a bunch of my vlogs saved it was really cute so anyways thank you so much destiny um love you so much and for next week's vlog i will be giving away so this is from la girl it's like this big thing and it looks like a coachella pass like box and it's like a bunch of lip glosses right here and then two amazing eyeshadow palettes and then this is like um, like a Coachella like band but like not a real one you know and then um, a rose gold and iridescent dream eye toppers and then eyeliners so th this whole thing will be next week's giveaway and I will ship it out to the winner next week after next week I'll announce it in next week's vlog and then I'll ship it out to you so that is the giveaway for this week that I'll be announcing. So every week I'm going to be announcing the winner. Like somewhere in between the vlogs. So you kind of have to watch the whole thing. All the rules will be below. Thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also for the giveaway winners, um, I want to be able to see your subscriptions because sometimes i will go on your guys's youtube and then i can't see who you subscribe to so then i can't tell if you guys subscribe to me you know what i mean so then i can't see it and then i can't pick you as the winner because that's one of the rules that you have to be subscribed to my channel so just letting you guys know i love you guys so much thank you guys again so much for watching all of my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also keep in touch with me on all of my other social media right here. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And I'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Mwah.